In this session, I will be talking about learning lightning components, how we can build them. So I have created a filter which will be working on based on conditions. So we have a list and this is the condition. So now how it works. Once I refresh the page, firstly I will click this button. On the click of a button, I will be seeing two list values and then one text field now how it works I have different fields and then I have conditions so I say name equals and I put put the name Jenna point so what I'm saying is that when name equals Jenna point then show me only those records I click on filter so I only see those those records now if I say that name not equals to any point and i again click on filter i will be seeing names which are not having that point now third one is contains so in the contains i say s and i click on filter so now i will be seeing only names having s value suppose i change it to g and click on filter and now if you see i am only seeing the name having g alphabet in it that's how this works so now let's make it let's see how it works so i have opened my developer console so how i opened is i went here and i went to the developer console in the developer console once i went i came here if we talk about here this is our component the main part of lightning this component how we create it so i go on file and here I go on new and I go on lightning component. Once I go on lightning component, I can put any name I want to the description. And this is important where I want the components to be available. So the main part of lightning is that it has reuse reusable components that we can put components at different places. So uh, where, wherever we want the components to come, like lightning tab, lightning page, record page, community step page, book action. I would be selecting those. And I would be just putting the name. And I say submit. Once I see the submit, what I see is, I am able to see Aura component and then it implements in all those places. So Aura is an open source attribute in which we can write whatever logic we want to write so coming back so now coming back to this the lightning is have lightning components have, is having eight bundles so in the in the eight ones what are these there is component in the component we write html css javascript basically the look of it if you want to see the page how it looks it is handled by the component now the second comes the controllers so it handles the logic part whatever logic i have want to build that comes in the component the next is the helper so helper is also having function so basically it is following the mvcc architecture that is model view controller controller so we see that there are two javascript functions here then we have style where we can write our own CSS. Then documentation, renderer, design, and SVG. But the most used are the worst four that is component, controller, helper, and style. Now, if I come back to the account list comp uh, component, so we see that here there is an aura component and here is a controller. This controller is our apex controller so what happens in lightning is that most of the logic we write in our javascript and only once we want to fetch some values from database for this we will be using our apex controller so that's how we work and that apex controller in this case will be retrieving the account records and other logics we would be put putting in the javascript helper and controller itself so now what we did we come to the second point we said 
aura attribute name equal to accounts and type equal to list so we are saying that we want the name accounts and type list this attribute wherever we want to use it we can use it by using v so if we want it to want it to come here we would be putting the v account and that's how we would be able to access the attribute this is this is where i would be writing the logic of v accounts so wherever we want to access the account we will be putting that name and it is of type list so that's why we are saying list because you see that we are able to see list here now now if we talk about handler later that is the part of event so we will be doing later coming back to the logic we have created a simple table now you see that this is a simple table which is being written in the html format but you see a class what is this class this is slds so salesforce lightning is having lightning design system in which we are able to get anything we want to have like if we say button and i click on a particular button group i will be simply getting the code i see whole code and it is having a particular class so instead of writing our own logic we can simply use this button class and this is how it will be coming so that is one thing very interesting which lightning has created for us so we don't have to use the uh, own our own css so we have simply used this class and then in that uh, we have created table table row table heading the how it works and we have used different classes in the dev and here we have written the headings id name type number of employees ticket symbol phone the same way we have written here so the same headings we are putting and we are putting all the headings here now comes our main part now we have to create this and we want we are not hard coding the values we have to get it from the database so how it works now if we want to see it what we want is that we created an account list here you remember we have created an attribute name accounts so this one we will say v dot accounts that's how we are able to access it and then we say where account that is when we want to access this accounts we'll be calling it with this name account now again we have done the or iteration to iterate over the list and getting each value in the table heading again i have used the div uh, div class from slds and then in the title i say account id then i go in all of them so if you see that id so we say account dot id then account dot name account type all of them we have written so now how they would be coming we will be just seeing in a second i will go file open and i will be opening the class which i have created and that class is our account list you open it once you open it we see this this field so what we see is here what we have done is we have created open a class we have created a class and the name is account controller and here we have said that we want to fetch all the records first thing if you see is we have created a class and we have written or enable so this is very important whenever we want to access the classes the apex classes in lightning we have to use the aura enabled keyword so we say aura enabled then we create our method in the method we want to have the account list so we created a list 
and in that we have written the name get accounts because we want to fetch the account so i gave this name now what i want to return we want to return the list because that is the value we have written and in this if you see i have written all of them and then we i want to order by the created date ascending order so that's how i have created this controller the way we access in the visual fourth page that we have to write the controller what we want to call i have to write the account controllers here so that's how i would be able to get the value so once i get the value of account controller i would be putting it to so how it would be accessing it is this is the accounts it is having the list and because of the account controller i am able to access so if you go again you see that the get accounts are there method because of which i am able to get, get it and static so we will be able to access anywhere and then if we go back to our account list i would be able to see that we have created or iteration accounts where account and i have been using all of the values because of which i would be able to fetch accounts so that's how i would be able to write our component now we have finished this part that's how we will be creating now if i want to just access it what i need to do is this is name account list.cmp now we can access it at multiple places so let's see how we access it if i want to access it in an application i will be going clicking on new i will be clicking on lightning application here i would be writing some name then i will be clicking on submit lightning to it says that it is already refined uh, let's change the name to other thing now we have created our application so this is our our application and now if i want to access any component how we do it is this is how we do it that in the our application we simply write the name of the accounts the component which we want to access so c dot component name and then the closing tag this is how we write it in between the our open and close application so i have created it here now if i want to see it the first time what happens is we just click on so what happens i will be just copying it because i just want to see account list and I will and then i will click on preview so once i click on preview i would be getting all of this so this is how we would be doing now if you see i am not extending force slds because of which i am seeing like this now if i extend force slds let's see what happens refreshing the page and this is how it will be happening so why does it happen like that so if i went to this one account list cmp you see lot of slds so it is not accessible in the application by its own we have to write force slds to access it so that's how i am able to see the list now the second part the second part is that i want to access this button this pick list fields text field and this again this button so now if i want to access it we can create another component to do it so again very quickly let's discuss one more component so i have created a component name dependent pick list which will be bringing everything which is here that is once i refresh whatever this button and all these values this this is handled by that component i go back this is the dependent list component in this again we have used the aura component and it implements in these places and then if i go down i will be skipping the event part which we will be discussing later i will be simply going to the lightning button so firstly there is a button 
where we are using the lightning button so we can have the lightning button or we can use lightning tags ui tags and html tags in our component so here i am using lightning button variant brand so how what is this basically it is all coming from slds so these are the buttons and it gives us the codes and which we put so if i put the variant brand i get the blue color blue color button let's see it if i copy the lightning button and i put it here i get buttons and i get different buttons so i have used this one let's see show code so i have used the brand third one if you want to use the white color or the green one whichever you want to use you can simply take the class name of the button that's how you can use it so this is one of the ways of writing it i go back so there is a lightning button so in this case we were using the button in the class if you want to use the lightning button we have to put the brand variant that is also available in slds you can put any filter now this is the part where we would be accessing our controller so the way javascript works that is uh, what we say that on click on of a button call this function that is what we are doing that is on click on a button call this the way of calling it is like this c means we are calling the controller this is the controller name which we are calling for now we are just writing how we write buttons then i go down and i see this is the pick list <clears throat> in this i have created the input input select and i have put different names and again i have created another input select and again i have put different conditions so if you see here we see we we put the name description all these names which are appearing in the input selects option it is because of this so this is the input select which we have put whatever values we want to put here we will be putting in the select option and we will be opening and closing with the input select so that's how we would be writing it then if i go down again we have created another input and then we have what next we have done is created a text field and then again a button so text button how we create it is again we say the input tag your your id is like how we access it so right now we can just skip it but this is how we are able to access and then the label name and this is what we have put now if i go to lightning button again on the click of button this should happen so that's how we have just written our logic simple html and then the lightning tags we have used because of which we are able to create this component so this is how we are able to create lightning components and we are able to make it available in the application again once i am done this dependent pick list i will be putting it here and again now i am ready with two components and now i can access it at different places